I thought to record the video while I'm driving. I'm not supposed to. I concentrate on the road. At the same time, I will record. I thought to talk about uh, how easy to get prep uh, for competition. In my case, is for bikini competition. It's not easy. I can tell you, it's not easy. The diet have to be straight. But then you can make it fun. You don't need to eat uh, chicken and rice and broccoli. You have to stick uh, to your calories. That's very important. The hardest part is dieting. Training is hard, but it's only one and a half hour or sometimes two hours in my case if I'm carry on too much <laughs> Training is hard, but it's not as hard as uh, dieting if you are mom of three kids or if you have kids and uh, they're eating something Like really nice and you cannot have uh, You just cannot have I'm a bit lucky in this case because kids copy me what I eat and uh, everything what I eat on my prep, kids eat it with me. Even if I try to cook for them something separately, they will still uh, say, um, Mommy, can I have this or can I have that? And can I have that protein bar or can I have that ice cream? When it comes to training, um, my training is very in terms of the time. I train every day, seven days a week. Each training is uh, different. I could train upper body uh, today and lower body the next day. Then on uh, day three, I will train maybe whole body, uh, including a cardio. I always do my cardio before my weights. I know in some videos I said um, it's um, best to do weights separately from the cardio but I notice that um, it works for me when I do cardio so it might work differently for you uh, for guys if you want to bulk up then I would suggest to keep cardio separately uh, with women when they want to get lean and have a good well have a good definition then cardio is really important supplements really important not all you don't need to uh, take lots and lots of different type of supplements uh, I don't I take supplements only when I uh, need it but then I know biochemistry more than maybe you do you cannot uh, feel like okay you need a larginine or you need uh, glutamine you probably don't know how to feel that you need in terms of energy my energy is um, about over the roof not caffeine high a different type of uh, high so uh, productive uh, i would say high uh, when you're on a caffeine like you know these pre-workouts these pre-workouts they give you this uh, caffeine uh, spike and then after a while your energy just uh, shut down and you feel sluggish I don't like that. That's why I don't uh, take uh, pre-workouts with caffeine or loaded with sugar. I don't see the point. You go to the gym, you want to burn calories. So you want to use all your glycogen in the liver and in your muscles. If you really want to take pre-workouts, then buy EAA or BCAA. I will add the link in the description below which one I use. I use EAA and occasionally BCAA. I always vary. In my first prep, I used to do cardio in the morning and weights in the evening. And I find it hard. Being mom of three kids, I found it very hard to fit um, two workouts a day. My current prep working for me absolutely fantastic. And I feel each exercise is harder than the previous. I also include stretching uh, and uh, sort of a yoga, I would say. I don't do meditation. Some people do meditation. I don't do it. Uh, I'm more like a hyperactive person or sometimes I can be very lazy. I have this laziness in me. That's why I don't allow myself to get lazy because if I do, I will be very lazy. It's not difficult to be on a prep if you set your mind, you visually see how you want to look in one month or two months or three months. 
So you have to clearly see that, imagine that. I imagine myself on a stage. I imagine how I want to look. That drives me, wow, I want to do it. Uh, I just came to pick up kids from school. If you are consistent with training and uh, dieting, you will have amazing results. After each session, you have to say to yourself, yes, I did a hard work yes i did it when it comes to dieting some people prep their meals in advance and i used to do this and occasionally i still do it but not as uh, in my first prep i have uh, frozen meals i would call them emergency i use them when i don't have a time to cook or i use a meal replacement shake or protein shake most of the time i don't prep my meal because i notice if i cook meal today that what i think i want uh, tomorrow uh, but then tomorrow i don't want this i want something different if the weather is uh, hot i want something cold if i feel cold then i want something hot i see that it works for me because if i eat what uh, I truly want I feel good mentally I feel very very good I don't feel like I'm on a strict diet you can try you can prep certain meals and freeze them and they are going to be like emergency meal if you work in a city and you have to go out in the morning and then come back in the evening then of course prep your meals uh, the day before if I would work in a city and I would leave the house in the morning and come back in the evening, then I would prep, of course I would. If I go somewhere, I would always come back home in two, three hours. On my first prep, I reduced my fat intake. I would buy food like low fat, uh, reduced fat and uh, so on, uh, or uh, low carbs. Uh, I don't do this anymore. I kind of stick to my calories and I don't remove fats and i feel that you feel good mentally it means you'll be productive in the gym you'll be productive uh, at everything you do on my second prep i don't um, uh, remove fats my main source of fats are meat eggs and butter the only thing i buy low fat is cottage cheese i like to take fats from butter. See, it works much better. I digest uh, better, and uh, I like I like butter, and uh, I'd rather have butter than I would have full fat cheese. But then again, I don't like full fat cottage cheese because I just don't like the texture. But I love butter. If you're on a prep or if you have any questions, uh, please ask me. Comment below. And if you haven't checked my Facebook and Instagram, please do. If you like this video, please press like. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to press the little red bell button so you receive notification each time I release new videos. Look after yourself. Look after your health. Your health is your wealth. Bye.